Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ji Hyun Ryu. <laughs> and uh, I'm originally from Korea, but uh, currently I stay, in, uh, stay and work in Amsterdam as a designer. And uh, I really appreciate this great opportunity to share my passion on uh, sharing traditional knowledge uh, of uh, especially food preservation, that are disappearing because uh, of uh, misuse or um, almost blind trust on technology refrigerator. And especially today, I would like to also uh, introduce one of my projects as uh, uh, she introduced, the safe food from the fridge. But then uh, why is it called the safe food from the fridge? And first, it means uh, safe food from um, being wasted. In Europe, especially in Europe, more than 30% of uh, household food purchased is uh, wasted. And that's one of the reasons is that uh, uh, since we are using refrigerator, we put all the food inside the fridge and we forget about it. And second meaning of safe food from the fridge is uh, safe food from um, losing the nutrient and the taste. And many vegetables and um, fruits that we are keeping in the fridge actually are suffering in the fridge for the cold, but we don't know that. And, but in all the times before the refrigerator came into the society, people used to know that because uh, in order to survive, in order to make better use of food ingredient within a limited uh, food source, people had to observe and know and then develop their own knowledge about food ingredient. And so I want to bring back this relation, close relationship between food and the people. And then from the research I did, uh, or also I am doing now, on uh, grannies or farmers about food preservation knowledge, I chose some knowledges and then and translated into the actual object that people can use it. Um, because I choose to translate into object because object can bring strongly the knowledge into people, people's daily practice. And I give you some example. Um, as you see here, <laughs> when potato and apple stay together, potato stays longer thanks to the gas from the apple. And uh, potato has to stay on the, in the dark. So here you keep the potato underneath the cabinet and then through the, uh, the apple through the hole, they still communicate to the gas. So in this way, you can keep a potato a bit longer, but still you can enjoy the beauty of uh, apple. And the second, um, when we keep the root vegetable at home, we normally keep them horizontal. But when they uh, are horizontal, they, lose, they tend to lose more energy because uh, they were grown up vertically. So uh, by using the sand, the vegetable can stay vertical, and also sand was one of uh, important um, natural material. In the past, the farmers used to keep uh, the vegetables longer because the sand keeps a kind of right humidity, and also it keeps the vegetables separate each other. Otherwise, uh, when the vegetables uh, touch each other, they can uh, easily get rotten. And the aubergine or zucchini or cucumber, we think these are vegetable, but biologically they are fruit, which means they have a characteristic of fruit that shouldn't be in the fridge. And so they, are much, they stay much better outside the fridge. For example, zucchini start to get the damage under seven degree, but uh, refrigerator is from zero, maximum four degree. If uh, you keep those vegetables inside the, ve uh, inside the refrigerator, uh, you, even if you don't see, they lose nutrient and taste, 
it's uh, like the same if we stay outside now for all the day, we will get sick. So it's the same principle to the vegetable as well. And um, <coughs> when we buy, we buy the eggs uh, outside the fridge in the supermarket, but we keep them inside the fridge at home. And, um, but egg has millions of pores on the surface that observe all the smell from the fridge. So it's not really a good idea to keep them inside the fridge. So you can uh, you better to keep them outside. But the problem with the egg is uh, that differently from other vegetable or fruit, you don't understand how, if it's fresh or not from outside. So with uh, a water jar in the middle, you can check the freshness of egg. If you put them, uh, if the egg is sinking, then it means fresh. If it floats, it means it's rotten. And apart from this uh, of, uh, create, creating object, I'm, uh, I have also an online platform to share the knowledge. Um, I really uh, would like to invite all of you, visit the website, check the knowledge people want to share with you, and then please share your knowledge as well. Thank you very much.